Good day everyone. I am Captain Ron Irani. In this video I will be explaining to you solution to problem number 6 from exercise 1 in Captain Subramaniam's textbook on ship stability 1. Problem number 6 states that there is a rectangular tank measuring 30 meters by 16 meters by 14 meters. Okay, here is your rectangular tank with dimensions 30 meters by 16 meters by 14 meters. It has an alleged pipe projecting half a meter above its tank top. This is the alleged pipe projecting half meter above its tank top. Oil of RD 0 0.78 is to be loaded. There is a pipeline leading from the refinery to the ship and it is 10 kilometers long and has a diameter of 40 centimeters. This is the tank on the shore at the refinery end. This is connected, this tank is connected to your ship via a 10 kilometer long pipeline having a diameter of 40 centimeters. At the time of completion, all the oil in the pipeline has to be taken. So there is a certain amount of oil that is there inside this pipeline that is 10 kilometers long having a diameter of 40 centimeters and at the time of completion this oil has also to enter come into your tank thereby leaving this pipe empty at the end. Find at what allege the valve at the refinery end must be shut so that the final allege in the ship's tank would be 0 0.78 meters. The final allege required in the ship's tank is 0 0.78 meters. And as I explained to you earlier in problem number 5, the allege is from the top of the allege pipe. So when you have a height of 0 0.5 meters in the allege pipe, the allege within just the tank is therefore going to be 0 0.28 meters. That is from the top of the tank to the red line it is going to be 0 0.28 meters. And therefore from the top of the alleged pipe it will be 0 0.78 meters. State also the mass of the oil to be loaded finally. And we have to assume pi to be 3.1416. Now here is something that must be noted that in your exams if the value of pi is not given then you must take the value to be equal to 22 divided by 7. If the value of pi is given to you in the problem then you have to take just that value and nothing else. So let us go back to the slide and see how it works. We know the volume of the tank is equal to length into breadth into height and that is 30 by 16 by 14 that is equal to 6720 cubic meters. The area of the tank is length into breadth and that is 30 by 16 is equal to 480 square meters. Final allege required is 0 0.78 and that is from the top of your allege pipe. And when you take it just from the top of your tank, it is 0 0.78 minus 0 0.5 which is the height of the allege pipe. Therefore, allege within the tank is to be 0 0.28 meters. Now remember what is told to us in the problem is that this oil that is there inside this pipeline has also to be taken into the ship's tank upon completion. So we have to be careful and we have to advise the terminal when to stop pumping. So let's go on to the next slide and see how the remainder of the solution. Let me magnify this a little bit for you. Okay. The allege inside the tank 
is 0 0.28 meters. Therefore, depth of the oil to be loaded in the tank is 14 minus 0 0.28 equal to 13.72 meters. Okay. So that is from the red line to the bottom of the tank is 13.72 meters. The volume of the oil that will be in the tank at a height of 13.72 meters is length into breadth into the depth of the oil that will work out to 6,585.6 cubic meters. So the volume of the oil from this red line down to the bottom of the tank will work out to 6,585.6 cubic meters. Mass of the oil loaded will be is equal to volume into relative density and that works out to 6585.6 into 0 0.78 which is the relative density of the oil and that gives us 5136.8 metric tons. So the mass of the oil will be from the red line downwards to the bottom of the tank. Now we have been told that the mass of the oil within this pipeline also has to come into the tank upon completion. So let us first find out what is the mass of the oil within the tank. What is the volume of the tank equal to? Pi r square h or pi r square l where l is the length. And when we have the volume, you multiply that with the relative density and you will get the mass of the oil that is within this pipeline. So volume of the oil in the pipe, pi r square length, pi given to us 3.1416, Radius is 0 0.2. Remember the diameter is 40 centimeters. Convert to meters is 0 0.4 meters. And radius is half the diameter, 0 0.2. So pi into r square into the length, 10,000 meters. 10 kilometers, convert to meters, 10,000 uh, meters gives us the volume of the oil within the pipe equal to 1256.64 cubic meters. Now this volume of oil, when it comes into the tank, will occupy a certain height. And that height we can calculate by dividing this volume by the area of the tank that is 480 and that works out to a height of 2.618 meters. So going back to the previous slide, let me explain now that the volume of oil within the tank, once it comes inside, a volume of oil within this pipeline, once it comes inside your ship's tank will occupy a certain height. And that height is the difference between the red line and the blue dashed line that you see. That much is the volume of oil that will come into your tank from this pipeline. So that allowance has to be made and you have to tell the terminal to stop pumping as soon as your allege within the tank or your sounding within the tank reaches this blue dash line. At this point you have just enough sufficient space to accommodate the oil that is there inside this pipeline into your tank. And that height is equal to 2.618 meters as we have just calculated. We know we have calculated earlier that the total depth of the oil within the tank 
required is 13.712 meters and the height of this oil that is within the pipeline that has to be taken in is equal to 2.618 meters. So when you deduct 2.618 from 13.72 we get 11.102 meters and that is the height of the oil from the bottom of the tank. Okay. And then we can easily calculate the alleage from the top of the alleage pipe and also if you wish from the top of your tank. So the depth of the oil, the depth of the tank without the pipeline oil is equal to 13.72 minus 2.618 equal to 11.102 meters which we have just discussed. Therefore the alleage will be 14 minus 11.102 meters. This is just the alleage within the tank. The exact alleage where the pump should stop will be equal to 2.898 plus 0 0.5 which is the height of the alleged pipe and that will be equal to 3.398 meters. Thank you very much for your attention and hope you have understood the solution to this problem. Please give me a like, a thumbs up, share as well as subscribe to my channel. Thank you and goodbye. Take care.